Okay, the sides of an acute triangle measure 14 centimeters, 18 centimeters, and 20 centimeters respectively. Which of the following equations, when solved for theta, gives the measure of the smallest angle of the triangle? All right, so what do they give us? They give us a few uh, bits here. Uh, they give you the law of sines. Uh, sine of A over A equals sine of B over B equals sine of C over C. And we're given the law of cosines c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2a cosine c. Right. Well, first off, I'm going to draw this to help get a better view of it. Um, let's see. We're told it's an acute triangle. So I'm going to draw, try to draw this as best I can. Um, make this a bit longer, actually. Off the page a bit, and then, okay, let's do like that. All right, so what are we told? Uh, we're given that it's 14 is the smallest side here. I'm going to write this 14 here. Let's make this one 18, well, make this one 18, it's a bit, and then this one 20. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the smallest angle. So the smallest angle would be the one that's across from the smallest side here. So this is the smallest line here. So this is the smallest angle. So this is what we're looking for. Okay. Now with the sign, uh, with the first the law of signs here, in order for us to use this, we're going to need both uh, an angle side and a line, um, an angle and uh, a length in order to solve for it. But we're not given any angle measurements, are we? So this actually isn't going to be any help to us. Now, looking at our answer choices, well, that's going to mean we're going to immediately knock off these three because we can't use it. Well, that's the law of sines. What we can do, however, is use the law of cosines because we, we've got all three side measurements. We just need to solve for this cosine of c here. Okay, so cosine of c, if this is going to be, if this is the one we're going to be solving for, and we're looking for the smallest angle, which is this one, smallest angle. Okay, so if this is c, now we know it, we're going to have to name this angle c because it's the smallest one and that's the one we're looking for, which means this, uh, this opposite line here is going to be line c. So I'm just going to label that like that, line c. Okay, so if that's C, I'll make this one A. If this is angle A, this is going to be line A. It's across from it. And then this will be B. And this will be line B. Okay, great. Right. So, if this is cosine C, and this is C, let's start filling in what we can into this equation. So we've got C right here. It's got to be 14 squared, hasn't it? It's one across from this angle. Well, immediately, we can sort of see that between our answer choices, J and K, J is the one that's got this set up like this, which means it's actually our answer choice. If we're going to do the shortcut, it is a J straight away. If you wanted to fill out then the rest, plug in the A squared plus B squared minus 2AC, which gives you this.